marketing your online business. Now that you know the importance of traffic generation, it's time to go and get that targeted traffic for your new online business. So we will look at some free and paid traffic methods that you can use to market your online business. Free traffic methods. There are many free traffic methods that you can use to drive visitors to your website. Most of these are going to take work, but you can outsource some of this if you want to. We recommend that you use a combination of these methods to drive traffic on a regular basis. Content marketing. The principle here is that you create useful content that provides value to those who consume it, and they will want to visit your website for more great content. Content can be written text, videos, podcasts, audio files, and images. We will discuss written text in this section. When you create your website, you want to add content to it on a regular basis. This is good for your visitors as well as the search engines like Google. If you do not consider yourself to be a good writer, then you can always outsource this to a freelance writer. You also want to post content on external websites. We highly recommend that you have a Facebook profile for your online business and create a Facebook page. Adding valuable content to this page will help to increase your following and engage with people that are interested in your niche. It is also a good idea to set up an account on medium.com. You can publish relevant and valuable content on here and use it to drive targeted visitors to your website. There are lots of other places where you can syndicate content, but you should focus on those that have the highest traffic. Medium.com gets around 200 million visitors a month. Video marketing. If you do not have videos on YouTube promoting your business, then you are missing out on some serious targeted traffic. YouTube is the second biggest website in the world and gets billions of views every day. Some people don't like the idea of making videos and they do not want to appear on camera. If you think like this, then you need to get over it. Showing your face is important as it helps to build trust with your visitors. Again, you want to provide value here. How-to videos are very popular. And perhaps you can show your viewers how to solve a particular problem in your niche. Make sure that you do some keyword research and optimize your videos for search. You want your videos to appear high up in any searches in YouTube for your keywords. Podcasts. Another great way to drive targeted traffic is to create podcasts for your niche. If you are an expert in your niche, you can talk about solving problems and changes in the niche. You can interview niche experts to increase the number of followers to your podcast channel. Upload your podcast to the popular podcasting sites and add it to YouTube as well. Search Engine Optimization, SEO. SEO is a great free traffic method, but it will take time. You will need to undertake keyword research or outsource this, and then optimize your website for the keywords that you want to target. You need to know how competitive keywords are as it is not worth wasting your time trying to rank for those near impossible terms like make money online and weight loss. What you want are keywords that have a reasonable amount of search volume that are not too competitive. You can publish posts on your website related to these keyword terms and make sure that they are all SEO optimized. SEO is about internal and external optimization. You need to build backlinks, links from other websites to your pages as this will help your external optimization. These need to be high quality links. If they are from related websites, then these will be the most powerful. Social media. We have already mentioned the value of having a Facebook profile and creating a Facebook page for your business. You do not need a social media profile on all of the networks. If you sell to businesses, then you need a LinkedIn profile because that is where your customers hang out. You can make relevant posts on LinkedIn to drive traffic. Social media marketing is going to take time and effort. You need to develop a following of your target audience and keep providing them with value. It is certainly worth doing this as you can generate a lot of quality targeted traffic from social media. It is important to be realistic about the time you can dedicate to social media marketing. Email marketing. You can argue that email marketing is not really free because you have to pay a monthly fee for an autoresponder service. Let's split the difference here and say that it is almost free. It is essential that you build an email list for your online business. Very few visitors to your website are going to make a purchase on their first visit. The harsh reality is that you may never see that visitor again. So in order to minimize the loss, you need to entice them to join your email list. Use a good incentive as visitors will be reluctant to give you their email address because they know you are going to market to them. You could create a special guide or report that helps people solve a specific problem in your niche. It can be effective for online e-commerce stores to offer a discount to people that join their email list. Whatever you offer, make it enticing. When you have potential customers on your email list, you can send them an automated sequence of emails or broadcast emails. Each time someone new joins your email list, they will receive your automated sequence of emails. You can use broadcast emails anytime that you wish. Don't just send offers to your email list, provide them with value as well. You want people to stay on your email list as long as possible, so give them a good reason to stay. 
Email marketing works, but you need to be smart about it. Guest blogging. Website owners are always looking for new and unique content to add to their sites. Some high-traffic websites and blogs in your niche will probably accept a guest blog post from you as long as it meets their quality standards. With a guest blog post, you can add a link back to your website to drive more traffic. This is good for SEO as well. You need to check the rules of the blog that you want to make a post for. Some high-traffic blog owners charge for guest posts, so do your homework here. Paid traffic methods. There are several paid traffic methods that you can use to send targeted visitors to your website. Most of these are not as expensive as you might think. You are in control here, and you can monitor what you spend on a daily basis. One of the good things about paid traffic is that you get results fast so you can test your landing pages. Pay-per-click PPC. Another name for this is search marketing. You place ads with Google or Microsoft, Bing, Yahoo, etc., and they appear on the first page of the search results for keywords that you determine. It is possible to generate a lot of traffic very quickly with PPC, and it is a great way to test the different pages on your website. Keyword research is essential here. You want your PPC ads to show up when people are searching for your target keywords. When you add keywords to your PPC campaigns, Google and Microsoft will recommend the price that you should pay per click. Some keywords can be very expensive, so be careful with this. If you are an affiliate marketer, then don't send the traffic directly to the offer. Google will not accept an ad like this, and you may have an ad rejected by Microsoft as well. Use a landing page as a bridge. Capture the email address of the visitor on this page and add them to your email list. Social media ads. If you don't have a large following on your social media profiles, then you can use social media ads to increase your number of followers. With Facebook and Instagram, you can specifically target the people that you want to see your ads. Knowing your target audience is very important. What kind of people do you want to visit your website? How old are they and what are their interests? Where is your audience in the world? What income levels do they have? You can specify all of this when you choose Facebook or Instagram ads. Most of the social platforms provide the opportunity to create ads for your online business. For example, on Facebook, you can boost the post that you make on your Facebook page to a wider audience. Social media ads are not usually that expensive, and they can help you to reach your target market effectively. YouTube ads. More and more online business owners are using YouTube ads these days. The idea here is that you specify the keywords for your niche and then choose existing videos that have a lot of views to run your ads. A YouTube ad is a video that you will need to create, but it can be very effective. Native ads. The reason that native ads work so well is that they really blend in with a website and they look like natural links. Native ads can work really well in niches like weight loss, make money online, and personal development. In a recent survey, it was stated that visitors to a site would look at native ads 52% more frequently than they would conventional banner ads. Native ads also get shared on social media a lot more. Around 32% of those surveyed said that they would share native ads on their social media accounts. Another surprising fact was that more people looked at the native ads than the original content. This was 26% for the native ads compared to 24% for the original content. It was also discovered that people looked at the native ad content for around the same amount of time that they looked at the original editorial content. You can get a lot of traffic to your website with a native ad that is placed on another website that receives a lot of traffic. Some of the world's most famous websites use native ads for monetization. These include Yahoo, Huffington Post, and BuzzFeed. There are other paid traffic methods that we have not discussed in this section that can produce good results. You can place banners on related websites and pay by the number of impressions. You can advertise on niche-related forums, and if you are in the Make Money Online niche, then solo ads can be effective. You must monitor how much you are spending and the conversion rates that you achieve with paid advertising. Always be in control and never let your ad spend exceed your budget. Track everything so that you know where your traffic is coming from. Marketing Plan We strongly advise that you create a marketing plan for your online business. You can include a mixture of free and paid traffic methods in your plan. Think about the amount of money that you are prepared to spend on paid advertising and the time that you have available for the free traffic methods. In the next video, we will recommend a 30-day plan for your six-figure online business.